Hello and welcome to Tank and AFV News. My name is Tom and today we are doing a book review on German military vehicles in the Spanish Civil War. This one is by uh, Mata, Molina, and Manrique. Hopefully you said those right. Uh, and a um, new book by uh, Frontline Books, distributed here in the U.S. Uh, by Casemate. So thanks again to Casemate for sending the review copy. And this is one I was looking forward to when I saw it on the list. I said, oh, that looks interesting because this fills uh, a gap in my own collection um, because uh, I don't know if there's been a book written on the German military vehicles of the Spanish Civil War um, in this depth. And it claims that nobody has according to the little info sheet the publisher sent me here. And, um, you know, just in my own experience, I've I've seen some like photo collections of uh, Spanish Civil War vehicles and stuff, but um, as far as something specifically covering the, the German uh, vehicles, I think this one's probably the largest book I've seen to date. Um, and it is, um, let's see here, 240 pages. Uh, it says it has over, I think, 400 photos in here. Uh, hardcover, of course. Um, Size-wise, in case you can't tell from here, so compare it to... Uh, Let's see here, I got an Osprey. I think most people are probably familiar with sort of the Osprey series, so you can see it's just a whoop, get it in frame. It's just a touch smaller in an Osprey book, but it is a, a hardcover and a little thicker, so it gives you an idea of the size. Um, it is a very attractive book. Um, the the way that the photos are arranged and the photo quality um, and the sort of the page layout itself, um, it's not just a white background. They've kind of got like a nice textured background and it's it, it, there's a little bit of art to the way this is put together more so than a lot of books on tanks which can be you know just sort of like photo text photo text um, so it is a very attractive book um, and it seems pretty high quality in terms of the quality of the paper and the printing uh, so that said it is primarily um, I would say probably uh, maybe 70% illustrations, 30% text, uh, maybe even less text than that. Um, although there's still quite a bit of information in here. Um, one thing I would say is that this is almost more of a history of the German mission um, to Spain in, uh, during the Civil War than it is an in-depth study of the vehicles themselves. So. You know, it does talk about the vehicles as pictures of them. And when I say vehicles, I mean all the vehicles. So everything from motorcycles, staff cars, trucks, uh, of course tanks. Of course, the only tank covered is the Panzer I, because that's the only one that the Germans sent, because it's in 1936, of course. Um, so if you're looking for really in-depth, like, technical information, you're not going to find that in here. This is more history of sort of what vehicles were sent over there and what numbers, um, uh, sort of what the particular officers and individuals were doing, the strength of the unit, um, uh, so it's, it's more of a unit history almost, I would say, than it is a, a straight up like technical history. So be warned if you're looking for like really in-depth technical information about, you know, a specific staff car, motorcycle, you know, you're going to find some photos of it in here. It's, it's, it's not a technical history though, it's, it's really more history of the, the German unit that's sent over there. Uh, so I will switch to an overhead camera shot and we can flip through the book a little bit so people can get an idea of, like I said, just how attractive this book is because it really is um, a, a nicely done product. All right, well, we switched to our overhead camera shot and sort of flip through the book a little bit. Sorry for the tripod shadow there. It's kind of unavoidable with my the limited amount of space I have for setup. Um, so you can see it's, it's uh, laid out as you'd expect text in the front. We'll just sort of flip through it real quick to give people an idea of sort of what the interior contents look like. So you can see it's the text is mostly in this front section of sort of the history of the unit. Um, but again, quite a few photos as you can as I said, the layout it's really nicely done the way they've done this. Like I said, it's a very attractive book. Um, lots of these sort of charts of different snapshots in time of the, uh, the Panzer Group uh, in 1936 37 while it's in Spain so if people looking for sort of uh, details on the, the makeup of the unit that's that'll be handy stuff as you can see there's another chart uh, sort of another chart um, more toward the back of the book um, less text and more of a just a collection of photos of the vehicles so here we're in tanks sort of as we get to the back of the book it's more into the wheeled vehicles uh, there is a color section in the middle of the book, right, 
excited about right here, so which includes sort of different insignia and things that the authors have collected. You get the sense that this is a topic these uh, th three authors have been interested for a while and have amassed quite a collection of photos and paraphernalia. So here's an example of the back of the book and the wheel. So I'll just quick flip through, give people an idea. And another chart. So like I said, a very handsome book. It is retails for, let's see, $39.95 uh, or 25 pounds if you are in the United Kingdom. So, uh, you know, not for the size of the book, probably uh, within the normal range, you know, not not the cheapest. But again, this is a book that's really covering ground that hasn't been covered else, elsewhere. So um, worth the money. Um, I definitely enjoyed getting a chance to look at this one and we'll be happy to add it to the shelf behind me here. So uh, this one gets a thumbs up from us. And uh, thank you again to the fine folks at Casemate um, for giving us the opportunity to uh, take a look at this one. All right, well, thank you, and we'll catch you on the next one.